Do you guys remember in September of 2022, just a couple of years ago, almost two years ago, when Ron DeSantis, the governor of the state of Florida, uh, funded uh, from San Antonio, Texas, he paid for 50 illegal immigrants to be flown to Martha's Vineyard on Massachusetts uh, coastline. And, and let me just stop. If the governor wants to pay to ship me up to Martha's Vineyard, governor, Please send me my ticket. I'd be more than happy to spend my rest of my life on Martha's Vineyard because it is one of the most spectacular and beautiful places to be. I cannot believe that this is going on now. A lawyer was able to assemble almost 50 of these illegal immigrants and petition the Custom and Border Patrol ICE uh, immigration service and was able to obtain U visas for all of these illegals. What that means now to all of us is that ICE or the Immigration uh, Homeland Security is treating these individuals as victims of crimes. And that was born out of a sheriff down in San Antonio. Um, he was a sheriff Javier Sanchez and Javier Sanchez, who's a Democrat, not what's not not surprising. He uh, opened up a criminal investigation and suggested that these illegals were exploited and were duped on getting on a plane to Martha's Vineyard. Now, I will tell you, if someone wants to dupe me and put me on a plane to Martha's Vineyard, I'm all for it because I'd be very happy to be there. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that these illegal people that have violated federal law who are in the country illegally because they did not follow the process are now here on a visa. They're able to reside in the United States. They're allowed to work. And it is almost guaranteed that they will have their path to citizenship or at least legal residency in the United States. I think we're living in a crazy world. That is crazy, crazy town.